Hi everyone, this is Rush, the Soviet Gamer, and here we are again to play some Resident Evil. This time it's one of my favorite games, Resident Evil Zero, that's recently come out on PC, Xbox, and all the other major platforms, except Nintendo. <laughs> Suck on that. Finally, <laughs> it's not an exclusive. So, let's begin. Also, please excuse the sound quality of my microphone. I did try to record it with this one, but unfortunately it was way too quiet. It was like inaudible. Anyhow, let's start the game. Resident Evil Zero. Right then, so this is the part where the uh, cutscene plays, so I shall cut you shortly. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, Little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. Should hold off for a while. I wonder how those are in people react to this. began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up.
And I'm back. So, anywho, let's proceed with the game now. So, unlike the modern shooters, uh, you don't get the over-shoulder camera here, but, uh, yeah, uh, this game controls uh, like a tank when you're shooting and aiming, and it's got very, very basic controls. All you can do is aim down, up, and in the middle. Well, for a game like this, it's kind of enough, because at the end of the day, uh, having a cross here with this kind of view would be pointless. Anywho, let's proceed. Oh yeah, who can forget <laughs> these uh, loading screens. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? Oh, there definitely is. <laughs> These folks are kind of quiet. Deadly quiet. Alright, time to kill. Come on, zombie. Take it. These new controls are actually not too bad. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. The only thing that will confuse the hell out of me is uh, some boffin out there at Capcom decided to uh, change the menu from the start button, which is now just pause, and uh, now this is the menu button. So as far as I know, every single Resident Evil before this had that as the run button. But yeah. So I decided to switch it now uh, to mod modern controls because there is literally no way of mapping the sprint to the X button. It's it's a pity. Oh well, at least she automatically runs in the modern control style. All right, let's start investigating this place. Right, every zombie here looks quite dead to me, so that's good. Yeah, in this game, you have to investigate a lot of things, like pretty much almost every nook and cranny. Let's see what we got here in room 202. This doesn't... there doesn't seem to be anything of use in the cupboard. Let's grab... Not the dead guy, I'm talking about the ammo box right beneath him. Thank you very much. Uh, take the hand and ammo. Yes, I don't mind if I do. Right, then let's grab one of these. I know that in a lot of Resident Evil games there's like an achievement or something like that you can unlock by not using any of them, but I'm not playing this to be the best. I'm playing this to enjoy myself and have you enjoy yourselves with me. So, anywho, we got a passenger's diary here. Uh, July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Uh, looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of Arclay Mountain's laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what is left of the abandoned experiment. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of uh, bioweapons type Y139, not sure sounds like hunters, um, had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with type Y139. There's still so much we don't know about responses to the crustacean T-virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only a minute does of T bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, multiplication of internal toxins and brain development. In these effects, oh, if these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. Not sure what that word means. Excuse me, I'm Russian. Uh, this lab we're going to, where, in, uh, <laughs> where are they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data on the samples that would help us in our research. 
July 19th. The day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is, well, no, I can't think of this right now. I have to concentrate on this, on this investigation and uh, make sure it goes smoothly. Yeah, there's going to be quite a few of these little text uh, things, uh, not quite a lot as much as there would be in some of the other modern games of the same genre, but uh, yeah, I do like these. Uh, they do tend to give you good insights on what happened in a place. I know I've read all of these before in the past because I played the original GameCube version, but still, it might be fun for you guys to have it narrated instead. By the way, very good game. I already recommend you buy it. It's just classic Resident Evil. It's brilliant. Oh look, save room. Might as well grab that and drop it on the floor because we want to mark it. Um, okay, <laughs> this X button is going to confuse the hell out of me already. Okay, so we're going to leave this on the floor. I know it's not the most efficient way of doing things, but never mind. At least this way, I know for a fact it's there. Take the handgun ammo. Oh, hell yes. Never be short on handgun ammo. Anywho, more documents. Investigation orders. Stained with blood. Some section are not readable. Eight miles north of Raccoon City, in the Ackley Mountains, lies our company's management training facility. It was shut down years ago. Now, we're conducting a preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. First investigation unit are already on site and opening an investigation. I want your team to provide support. The following orders are from William Birkin and something, something, something below. The rest of the book is clearly unreadable. So, let's proceed. I don't think there is anything else here. I don't need to save at this time, so let's carry on going. I don't suck at this game too badly. By the way, I can't wait to try Wesker mode, sounds like fun. I know a lot of people hate it because, you know, it's Resident Evil 5's Wesker, not even the original Wesker, but... So what? It's not even canon. Well, that's locked. Ooh, what you got for me? Uh, the train employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. Take the train key, absolutely. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Sayonara. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, hello. Edward! Are you alright? What happened? It's worse than... We, we can't. You, you must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of z zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters? Uh, That's what he uh, said, Rebecca. Alright, time to fight some doggies. Come on. Bring it, bitch.
Come on, bitch. Hurry up and get me. Sit. I said sit. Now you're dead. Well, by the way, is it just me or does that Billy guy kind of remind you of the uh, slightly long hair version of that um, Terminator 2 guy? You know, the one that did all the liquid shit? T-1000? <laughs> Even sounds kind of similar, which is kind of cool. Right then, so let's investigate this little key that we've just obtained. And it says... Dining car. Hey, in this game, <laughs> the high definition version, you can actually read the label. No need for subtitles, which is brilliant. Right, let's go for the dining car, I guess. Ooh, zombie. I smell dead people. Any more of you? Doesn't look like it. Is there anything in that briefcase? No. Apparently not. Okay, that's good. Let's go. Uh, is there any point going upstairs yet? I wonder. All right. Pretty sure the path is blocked, but there must be some goodies up there. And there is. Yes, yeah, so I will take the green herb. Thank you very much. Hmm. Line has been cut on an antique telephone. On a train. Why would it have a line? Uh. Yeah, I will admit these eggs do look pretty awesome in high definition. So, we went all the way over there, and all we got is a herb. Oh well, not too bad. Alright, let's go for the dining car. This is Rebecca, over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond! Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cohen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people? We've also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over! Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! Alright, let's c carry on. Um, which way did I enter? Map? Oh, there's the map. Right, and so I came from there, 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 there. Okay, it's that way. Oh yeah, this is the first carriage that I've been in. Oh no, you didn't just wake up. Nope, oh, he's dead. That's good. Use the dining car key. You don't seem to need this key anymore. Throw it away? Why not? I don't collect junk. gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You're stuck you expect sense. me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. 
All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Alrighty then. So this door is locked. We're gonna be reading a note. Notice to supervisors. When closing the dining car, supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensuring all staff has, have vacated the car. The main automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Inspections will take place when the train is garaged. After inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Umbrella Corporation, Maintenance Department. Okay, useful to know. Let's grab more bullets. Wait a minute. Alright, <laughs> I just missed it. Never mind. Okay, anything else to grab there before we plunge ourselves into the leech monster's mouth? Guess not. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. Good. Well, this thing is quite disgusting. Right, better run, run. Whoa, you son of a bitch, you did not just slap me. You did not just slap me. That is just hardcore and realistic. He shot like two of them. And it makes them all kind of die. <laughs> Are you okay? Here comes the opera singing wanker again. Dude, you sound like a girl. engine car. 